Uh, burnt solar compass is made up of several important components. Uh, the first here is the adjustment for the latitude. Uh, we're here uh, at 46 degrees 31 minutes north of the equator, and uh, th this adjustment is made here. Uh, the angle of the sun uh, varies. Uh, today happens to be the first day of fall, and so the declination is just about zero. But that can be adjusted here with this setting. You can set the uh, declination for that given day, which you take from tables known as an ephemeris. Uh, the uh, hour circle is this circle right here. Uh, for example, 12 noon is right at this point. 1 o'clock is here, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, and so on. And uh, the earliest that you can shoot in the morning is 8.30 in the morning. Uh, <clears throat> we have level bubbles here. Uh, you can see the, uh, that the plate itself must be uh, precisely level. And uh, so after you have made the, the setting for the latitude that you're in, the declination for that given day, uh, you're then ready to uh, adjust for the time. If you think about a sundial, if a sundial is properly oriented at noon of a given day, uh, the, the indicator, which is called a gnomon, uh, is pointing due north. Now, uh, with the rotation of the Earth, uh, every 24 hours, uh, we have the Earth, the world, divided into 24 time zones. And if there's 360 degrees uh, around the Earth, every 15 degrees of longitude represents one hour. Uh, the zero is in Greenwich, England, and, uh, and then every uh, one of these 15 degree uh, markers of longitude then constitutes a one hour time zone. And uh, we here in the Upper Peninsula uh, are actually in the central time zone, uh, but we are on Eastern time uh, because of county option. And uh, so uh, the central time zone is based on the 90 degree uh, west longitude. And uh, so in figuring uh, our time then, uh, one degree of arc uh, is equal to four minutes of time, and then we can figure it out that uh, the sun actually gets here uh, in the vicinity of the Iron Museum uh, nine minutes and 40 seconds before it reaches the 90 degree west longitude, which is the unit for central time. Uh, so we also have uh, the equation of time. The Earth uh, the sun apparently wobbles like a, a lazy figure eight. And the uh, correction for today is uh, six minutes and 40 seconds, uh, which is a plus. So actually, uh, for where we are here in Nagani, uh, the, the sun for local apparent time is 16 minutes and 28 seconds uh, earlier than it will reach the 90 degrees. After determining the local apparent time, one rotates the solar compass so that the revolving limb on which the declination has been set points to the local apparent time on the hour circle. The solar compass is then rotated until the image of the sun fills the tic-tac-toe on the silver plate. The compass is now oriented so that the sighting arms are in a true north-south position. The operator now clamps the lower plate. The sighting arms on the upper plate may be rotated to read any angle that the operator wishes by noting the horizontal angle or azimuth of the sighting arms. And that then will tell us what true north is with the use of the solar compass.